Hello students, I thought I'd show off what I've been doing for the last few weeks. I've uh, been very busy, but uh, this ought to be a very interesting video for all of you because I'm going to go through a history of gaming as well as show you what my place now looks like, what I can do with my setup. So you want to be interested in what, uh, what I've been doing lately? I've been cleaning up and setting things up so that I can access all the machines that I own as well as most of the games that I own. So let's take a look one at a time at what uh, different games that, uh, and the uh, history of some of this stuff. I happen to be a fan of several type of games in the industry, mostly RPG, action, that kind of thing. Uh, my favorite uh, would probably have to be Square Enix. They're my favorite gaming company. Uh, they make the Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest Warrior series. And I've got those set up here on several gaming systems to try to share with you. So let's go ahead and go through this. Now, one thing at a time, we'll start with the oldest first. Okay, we have the, the Nintendo, which started uh, way back in 1985. And yes, I was one of the first to get one of those at the time. Let's set that up. Okay, I'm going to turn this on. Okay, this is just Game Gene advice. Used to start. And I'll take a look, it's Dragon Quest. Okay, this is Dragon Warrior. Dragon Warrior 3. Again, the gaming device was started in 1985. This might have been in the late 80s. Okay. Mid to late 80s. This is one of my favorites from that era. Dragon Warrior 3, if you ever get a chance to play it, it's one of the most fun games made from that time period. And it shows a classic battle between you and a dragon. You know, or your, this might be the father of the character, actually, in a dragon. Okay, so there's one. I'll show this off here in a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go to the next one, which is a Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo was started way back in uh, 1990. And this is a converted version of Dragon Quest VI. Or Dragon Warrior VI, whichever you want to call it. Again, my favorite company. I know, Bethesda's is like a close second, okay? Yeah. So this is Dragon Quest VI. I also have 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, uh, 7 somewhere, 8 somewhere, and 9 is up here, I'll show you in a little bit, and 11. Alright, so that's Dragon Quest VI. Okay, next on the list, let's see, the PlayStation 1 was designed in uh, 1994, 1994, and that one was, um, uh, we, I had one of those original devices, had Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, that was the first game, and there were many other games that came out, uh, PlayStation had many games, we, we have a PlayStation mini console, but I don't have it around handy, so we'll go to the next device, which is a PlayStation 2. Uh, the PlayStation 2 is from 2000, and you could play uh, PlayStation 1 and 2 games with it. And I'll switch to that right now, which I got running. There we go. That's the PlayStation 2 I've got running right now. Running right now, you see the game called Final Fantasy XII, which was the last one that was on the series. You had Final Fantasy X and XII that were on here. I really like this one. It was fun. But I like X just a little better. You get a chance to play X and II. Uh, X and II, you know, the second one of X. These are really good. Just listen to that sound. It 
this was a huge upgrade, in my opinion, from the one and from Super Nintendo and Nintendo. It really started to show more and more graphics. Funny thing about this game was the espers weren't as useful in this game as they were in most of the other ones. That's Final Fantasy XII. Okay. Okay, and PlayStation 3 would be the next one in the list and the one I have as well. Final Fantasy 13. Okay, so Final Fantasy 13. Uh, this is a PlayStation 3. The PlayStation 3 was done in 2013. No, no, no that would be the other one. 26, 20, 2006 is when the 2013 was done. And of course, again, I saved up to get this one as soon as I could. This is Final Fantasy 13. Now they came out with Platinums later on uh, for the for the PlayStation 3s, and of course I have a Platinum for this trophy for this particular game. I liked it too. Very good game. Was well, kind of disappointed in its sequels, but the 13 series was a really good game, and there were plenty of good games that came out on the PlayStation 3. And I still have a long list of them. So that's PlayStation, and this is Final Fantasy 13. Okay. And we will turn on the other controller. This is one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 4. Okay? Dragon Quest. Okay? Dragon Quest uh, 11, one of my favorite games on it. You know, I love this one. There's also uh, Final Fantasy 15 available. Uh, and of course, I always like the Fallout series. I have since it was on the PlayStation 3. I have that too. I also like the Call of Duty series. But the PlayStation 4 came out in 2013. Yes, I saved up a lot of money so that I could be one of the first to get it. This is one of the better games that came out. Of course, I like Call of Duty, Fallout, and Skyrim, all those stuff on the PlayStation. But I thought I'd show this one off. Okay. Now, I'm going to show off some smaller things that came out. After I kind of show you what the entry is like there. Yeah, the slime is like the number one thing you remember out of the Dragon Quest series. <laughs> and those are the sisters in that series. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. Yeah, they just muted. Okay. Now, this DS came out just before the PlayStation 4. I only got it recently, though. There's Dragon Quest IX, which I have not quite finished yet, but I'm getting there. It's the only Dragon Quest that's not a multiplayer I have not beaten yet. So that's a good one to, to consider playing. It's pretty good. Very good graphics. Don't carry a lot of those around. Okay. And then next, we're going to show off for today, we're going to show off the last thing, which is my mini Super Nintendo. It's the most recent one I've purchased. Uh, I will be getting a PlayStation 5 at some point. But here we go. We're going to show you 
the Mini Super Nintendo made in 2017. Final Fantasy III, again, one of my favorites that was ever made. Uh, at the time, I played it over and over and over and over again. It was one of the best games that I ever made for the Super Nintendo. And now I can play it on a mini Super Nintendo and I don't have to go and hunt for the game, which probably disappeared somewhere. But this was one of the best games on the Super Nintendo when it was made way back in the 90s. And a lot of people like this game. So that's what my uh, place looks like. I've set it up so that I can game on on many, many multiple devices. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed that. And uh, in sometime later this year or next year, I'll have the PlayStation 5 when it comes out. Have a good day. Take care, guys.